This is Sadiq Mateen, the father of Omar Mateen, the suspected Orlando gunman who killed 49 people. In the wake of his son committing what officials say was one of the worst mass shooting attacks in American history, Sadiq has been talking at length to the media, apparently in an attempt to give his side of the story. On Tuesday, Mr. Mateen denied there was anything suspicious or problematic about his son, who was born in New York after the family emigrated from Afghanistan in the 1980s. He was working and he was taking care of his family. So uh, I don't know what happened that triggered this action in this part. I wish he was alive. I could ask him that. Why did he do and why did he harm other people? Sadiq told the media on Sunday that Omar visited him the day before the attack in a very calm way. He came in. Uh, yesterday to see uh, me and his mom and that was the last time that I saw him. I didn't see him anything different than what he used to be. He adamantly rejected various media reports suggesting that Omar may have been gay. He says his son might have visited Pulse, the gay nightclub that he attacked, because he wanted to case it as a target, not to hang out. Earlier in the week, in a Persian language video posted to his Facebook account, Sadiq himself had said the following. Then he tried to clarify that comment on Tuesday, saying he had nothing against gay people. Sadiq said he and Omar had a typical father-son relationship and that he never noticed anything unusual about his son. But that runs counter to the comments of Omar's ex-wife, who said he was abusive and unstable. He was bipolar and he would get mad out of nowhere. That's when I started worrying about my safety and then after a few months he started abusing me. Sadiq would periodically post videos on social media. In some, he appeared in an army uniform and he was critical of the U.S.-backed government in Kabul. In a peculiar twist, he had recently called himself the head of a non-existent transitional government of Afghanistan. 